Hey guys, and welcome back to the second channel. Got another fast paced review video. This one on the Giraffe Tools wall mounted retractable vacuum cleaner. Now, uh, full disclosure, they did send this to me free of charge. So I'm basically gonna you know, show you what it is, mount it on the wall, see if it works. And then you can decide if it's something that you need in your life. Uh, for me, I've been using old Big Bertha, the five horsepower Craftsman. For many years now, it's been through all sorts of jobs and still going strong, but sometimes I need something a little bit, you know, quicker, easy access. Like for instance, over on the table, if I didn't want to sweep this, I wanted to just vacuum it, you know, just pull it and go. It sounds kind of cool. So I'm like, yeah, I could try that. Or I don't know, in this, I wanted to vacuum this out of the, the bench grinder. Some would argue convenience is king. So let's see what this thing's all about. This box is not light. It's 53 pounds is the gross weight, 48 and a half uh, net pounds. And you come with the owner's manual, a template for mounting it up on the wall. Seems to be nicely packaged. We got a bunch of adapters and such. There it is, an all-in-one unit. And my first thoughts are, this hose is kind of skinny for my needs. We got an ID of inch and three sixteenths. Now, if you're like doing car detailing or normal vacuuming needs, it's gonna be totally fine. But if I wouldn't go sucking a mouse nest into this because if it gets clogged halfway, it's a 30 foot hose. Uh, that could, could be annoying to clean out. Uh, I'm assuming there's more adapters down underneath uh, because we don't have the brackets or anything yet either, but uh, I guess you just pop these latches open. You'd think I'd read the instructions first, right? And then we got a couple handles. I am noticing this sticker is not on straight. Now, it's never a good sign if you see a, a crooked sticker, right? It's like attention to detail. But if you're watching this giraffe tools, tell them to put the stickers on straight. Oh yeah, there we go, lots of stuff in there. We got this wall bracket for all the accessories and then two steel brackets for mounting it along with all your accessories. You got this rolly guy for flat surfaces where you push that and then the brush uh, drops down on it. This one with two wipers on it. By the way, this is a wet and dry back. You also have a swivel there. And big brush, small brush, and then these two little guys. This would probably always be my go-to. You know, that's the one, that's all you need. The next question is where are we gonna mount it? Uh, you know, I don't think going to the back of the shop is a good idea, because then what if we need it out front? So how about right above the door? You know, we should be able to reach the majority of the shop, and then if Jen needs to vacuum her Honda or something, she can. This is probably a little bit higher than ideal to mount your vacuum cleaner, but I think it'll still work. Gotta make sure I leave enough room on this side for the wand holster. And that is locks in, takes two Phillips screws. And now we can, I guess this just clicks on here. Seems pretty good. I like that it still rotates on there. And if you're pulling it out, oh. I don't know, I feel like that could lock on a little bit better, but maybe it's designed to to break away if you pull on it too hard so you don't, you know, rip the hose. Yeah, that's, that's on there. Now zip our brackets on using supplied template. Since we're going through plywood, I'll through bolt it on the top. Probably easier with two people, but we should be able to just drop her into place. Oh yeah, that was a breeze actually. Looking up at the bottom, we can see the filter. If you need to change that, you just pull down on this, pops out of place. And uh, you guys see the problem I see? <laughs> I was trying to bring it as low as I could because you know, that way you can pull this hose out still. But obviously with this tray in place, you know, I wasn't thinking clearly because now if you go open the door, well, that's, <laughs> you gotta bump it up a little bit. Luckily there's space on that piece of wood. There we go. That's a little better. 
and plenty of overhead. Well, let's try this out now. I'm gonna power it up, you just hit it. There we go. Uh, I think they do have an optional Bluetooth remote, but I, I didn't get that with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, walk away with it. Without any effort and all the way on the other side of the shop and we still have room. Then you let it back a little bit to lock it out. I suppose one thing to keep in mind is, yeah, well, don't go vacuuming big stuff. And also, it's gonna take some time for all this to make it to the vacuum, so when you're done vacuuming, make sure to let it run. But like even that wire, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a long hose, so you don't wanna suck the wrong thing up. As far as suction goes, I mean, it's pretty strong, but it's not gonna be that of a full-size shop vac. I suppose like this piece of paper here, you know, it'll try to suck that through, but it's not gonna. See how it just shut off like that? It seems there's actually a feature where if it's blocked up too long, it'll auto shut off. So I suppose that's a good thing to have. Let's check it out. There it goes. I'm confident this bag will make it back to the bin. No problem. Yep, that was actually pretty quick. Let's try out the retractability. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty good. And again, if you need to adjust this, you can actually slide it over. Hook that up and you're good to go. When you're all done, you can empty it out very easily. I like when you unlatch these, it doesn't just you know fall out. It's got this secondary holder. Grab that and slide it forward. And there's all of our junk. If you plan to vacuum up water, it does come with this other foam filter that you can swap in there. And if you have the space, don't forget to mount the accessory holder. These little plastic pieces just snap in and then you use the supplied screws to secure them into place. So that way when you put this on, it doesn't just, you know, rip off of there. Uh, but I don't have a lot of room, so I'm not going to put this on. I'll just stow these away and I'll primarily be using these anyway for my purpose. If you want to stay on the safer side, I wouldn't recommend mounting this overhead because God forbid those brackets ever do break. You know, it's, it's steel, but it's mounted into the plastic and plastic gets brittle over time. Uh, that could fall on someone's head. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and put a chain up to the wall. That way, redundancy. Let's test the quick action. Vacuum up that dust in there. Lightning fast. I did wanna show you guys, I noticed on here, remember I, I said this just, like swivels. Well, if you, it does, it swivels and spins, but if you go this way, it will actually loosen off completely. So just something to, to know about. You might be wondering about hose replacement. I uh, don't know if they sell one, but it does seem to be pretty easy to do. You just pull it all the way out, take those four Phillips. I think you could use a universal hose with this. So my final thoughts on this. Uh, Seems to work pretty good. It's certainly no commercial grade vacuum cleaner, but I think for the average homeowner that just wants to vacuum out their car and conveniently push a button, pull the hose out, ready to go, I think it's a good product. Uh, I actually did a quick search and I don't see any other companies selling a similar all-in-one product. I mean, of course you could get yourself a vacuum hose reel and hook it up to a shop vac. If you want something a little heavier duty, you could definitely do that. Uh, but if you want to just, you know, spend a little money and mount this on the wall and be vacuuming, well then, I don't know. I'll drop a link to it down below if you want to check it out. I don't even, I don't think it's available yet. So I uh, don't know how all the pricing is. Check it out if you're interested. I'll let you know if it fails prematurely in the future. And otherwise, I'm gonna dive back into the project I'm working on out here. So thanks very much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Double NKH2, over out.